Hey, welcome back. It's been a while. Here's an update on my sequencer project. I've made a lot of progress and I have a lot to show you, so let's get right into it. I've built two new modules. I started by first laying out the parts, then doing the wiring. This module will be used to enter music data into the sequencer, which is why I'm calling it the Note Control Module. Let's take a look at how I make these modules. I need to connect every component at the right places, wire by wire. For this module, I had to place roughly 75 wires in total. These wires all need to be measured, clipped, stripped and bent into place. There's also roughly 25 resistors on there, which are a bit less time consuming, although still tricky to place. It's not exactly hard to build these modules, it just takes a lot of time. When I started with this project, I was completely new to creating things with electronics, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of the basics. So, a whole bunch of wiring later, we have two new finished modules. I realized that the first video may not have been super clear about what this project exactly is, and well, essentially, it's a little music making device. So, how would that actually work? Let's first look at the note control module. As you can see, there's four displays here, each with two buttons assigned to it. There's also an additional two buttons without a complementary display. The first display correlates to the note being played. The second one is for changing the note layer. This note layer allows for playing multiple notes at the same time. For example, I've already entered a C on layer 0, I'll enter an E on layer 1 and a G on layer 2. All notes play at the same time and make a C chord. The LED next to the display will let you know whether there's other node layers enabled. The third display selects the node's octave. The fourth selects the MIDI channel. This can be used to change instruments. There's two additional buttons, one for sustain and one to enable or disable this node layer. The second module is used for general control purposes. It does playing, pausing, changing the tempo, stepping through the pattern, changing patterns, changing sets, saving and loading, featuring a 4-bit binary save selector, resetting the current save file and it toggles various looping functions. For now, let's see how the sequencer can be used to make music. Alright, so... A bit of procrastinating later, I've connected the sequencer to a digital drum machine. We'll begin by playing a kick on every beat. Next, we add a snare drum on beats 2 and 4. The hi-hats are added. Now we already have a basic beat, but let's work it out a bit further. It's a good start, let's add some variation. The variety helps to make it sound less dull. This will do for the moment, now I have to copy this beat to three more patterns, then we can start adding some chords. I've disabled the drum machine for the moment. I'll add the first chord, an A flat minor. It sounds good, but it needs to be sustained. That's better. Now to repeat this process for the second chord. Finally, let's do the third chord. I'm not quite happy with this one, so I fiddle around with it for a bit. That's a lot better. I also added an additional synthesizer to spice up the sound some more. This is what the completed result sounds like, with the drums turned back on. Let's try adding some more instruments and we'll see what happens. <laughs> 